okay so we meet again uh, we had uh, just calculated the value of uh, y bar that is we have located the centroid of uh, t section and uh, we proceed to with the same problem to calculate the value of moment of inertia to calculate the value of moment of inertia it is very essential to know how to calculate the value of y bar so that is why i had explained you how to calculate the value of y bar now we proceed for the value of moment of inertia to calculate the moment of inertia what is our standard formula the standard formula is ixx that is equal to ig plus ah square okay what is the value of ig so now you can see in my table that uh, this is the value of ig second is h h is nothing but the distance between the centroid of the whole section that is y bar and the centroid of the standard shape that is considered okay and the formula is final is ixx that is equal to ig plus ah square so our first shape is a horizontal rectangle so for the horizontal rectangle what is the moment of inertia of a standard shape that is bd cube by 12 so b is 500 d is 100 cube upon 12 so we get moment of inertia ig h1 that is y bar minus y1 what is the y bar we have calculated we have calculated y bar as 275 so 275 and what is y1 we have calculated 350 so 275 minus 350 that will give us the value of uh, h then if we put it over here that is ig plus ah square will get ixx1 okay then we have a vertical rectangular section for a vertical rectangular section the moment of inertia is bd cube by 12 so bd cube by 12 we are putting it over here okay then what is the value of h2 h2 is nothing but y bar minus y2 what is y bar 275 what is y2 we have calculated 150 so we put in our equation we get the value of ixx2 okay so now what is the value of ixx ixx is equal to ixx1 plus ixx2 so i have directly put the value over here that is 1.02 into 10 to the power 9 so our second step is over what was the first step the first step was to calculate the value of shear force second step was to calculate the value of moment of inertia okay now we have to calculate the value of shear stresses at different different points right so now what i have done i have divided this t section or i have named the points at where the width is changing you can see over here the top is ab then cd then ef because the width is uh, changing this is a junction point okay then neutral axis and fg right now what is our standard formula our standard formula is tau that is equal to say upon by okay from this we the s value will remain constant i value will remain constant but what is variable area y bar and width because it is an unsymmetrical section okay so we start with first to calculate the value of tau at a b okay now if i take a b section right what is the value or is there any shaded area above a b there is no shaded area so definitely my value for tau a b will be zero and also always at extreme top and extreme bottom the value is zero so at tau at fg will also be equal to zero okay now second is we have to calculate the value of tau at cd so i am writing tau at cd okay now to calculate the value of tau at cd shear force is same moment of inertia is same what is changing a y bar 
so I will first shade my area which I have to consider okay so this is the shaded area which I have to consider so what is the area for this shaded area I can write down as area for A B C D what is it 500 into 100 okay that is 5 into 10 to the power 4 mm to the power square okay now y bar what will be the value of y bar so y bar is distance of shaded area with respect to neutral axis okay so this will be the cg for shaded area and if we intersect the diagonals it is at a distance of 100 by 2 okay so 100 by 2 that is 50 but I require with respect to neutral axis okay so what is the left out distance so we have calculated you can see in my diagram I have shown that y bar obtained is 275 the total depth is 300 so what will be this much area uh, this much length this much length will be 300 minus 275 that is equal to 25 so what will be now y bar cg is 100 by 2 for the shaded area and up to neutral axis what is the distance left 25 so that is 100 by 2 plus 25 that is 75 mm okay so now if i substitute the what is the b for cd portion the width b that is equal to that is equal to what is it what is it 500 mm okay so we can put b equal to 500 mm okay so now if I substitute all the values in my above formula so tau at CD will be equal to what is the value of shear force 50 kilonewtons I want to put it in newtons because I am taking in terms of mm the dimensions so 50 into 10 to the power 3 into area that is 5 into 10 to the power 4 into y bar 75 divided by divided by b what is the width b 500 and what is i we have calculated 1.02 into 10 to the power 9 so you get the answer as 0.36 seven six newton per mm square okay so we have calculated the value for cd now we will calculate for now we'll calculate for ef okay now very important thing if i want to calculate the value at ef what will be my shaded area again my shaded area will be same because above EF we are getting these values okay so the shaded area will remain same okay now what is changing so shaded area will remain same Y bar will remain same what will change only change will be the width I will have to take the width at EF and what is the width at EF at EF the width is 100 mm okay so for EF I can say area will be same as that of ABCD that is 5 into 10 to the power 4 okay then the shear force is same 50 into 10 to the power 3 y bar is same that is 75 upon i is also same 
1.02 into 10 to the power 9 but what is changing width at EF the width is 100 so multiply by 100 okay now tell me which value will be same EF value will be more or tau at CD will be more if you see the equation what does the equation say SA Y bar upon BI right that means tau is inversely proportional to the width if width is big tau value will be less if width is small tau value will be more right so in CD the tau uh, width is 500 okay in CD the tau uh, value will be less or more it will be less why because width is 500 in EF tau is 100 width is 100 so if width is 100 the tau value will be more so at EF the tau value obtained will be more and that is equal to 1.838 Newton per mm square okay now we have to calculate the value of tau at neutral axis okay so we calculate we know that at neutral axis the tau value is always maximum so now we will calculate and find out whether it is more or less okay so now we find out the value of tau at neutral axis okay so we take another diagram tau at neutral axis so i am writing down s and a okay what is my formula s a y bar upon b i i will draw a separate diagram for only that portion which is above neutral axis because that will be my shaded area right so this all plus this this both will be my shaded areas so now i can draw a diagram what will be my diagram the diagram will be this okay and from here the neutral axis is passing so we can show this as the neutral axis what are the dimensions this is 100 this is 25 this is 100 and this is 500 okay so now I will calculate a cumulative a y bar okay so cumulative a by bar this will be 1 and this will be 2 so cumulative a by bar will be will be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 okay so what is area a1 500 into 100 this is a1 okay into y1 what is y1 distance of shaded area with respect to neutral axis so from here this much distance what it is cg for first shape is 100 by 2 plus what is the left out 25 plus 25 okay plus plus a2 what is a2 so this is my shaded area for 2 so this is a2 okay so what it will be it will be 25 into 100 and what will be the value of y bar so cg of this that is it will be center 25 by 2 
so we get the value of a y bar as 3 7 8 1 2 5 0 mm square okay now what is the width at neutral axis so at neutral axis the width is 100 so I have to put B is equal to 100 mm okay I will remain same shear force will remain same so now if we substitute all these values if we substitute all these values what we get we get tau at neutral axis is equal to shear force 50 into 10 to the power 3 newtons into a y bar so a y bar we have calculated as 3 7 8 1 2 5 0 upon width b we have calculated not calculated considered 100 and i we have calculated as 1 1.09 1 1.02 into 10 to the power 9 so we get the answer is 